Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Chameleon Craft server. You're probably wondering where I am. Well this is the brand new spawn portal room which was made by Messenger I believe. Let's have a look. It was and there's actually quite a few people hanging around at spawn right now. Um, yeah so spawn has come a long way since um, you probably last saw it um, and a lot has also happened because I I've basically been doing a lot and not recording it, and I've had a lot of episodes to upload. Um, so, for example, the last time I probably recorded was um, about five, six days ago. Um, and that was probably the last time you saw Spawn, and a lot has changed. Um, as you can see, Crack, The Beat, and GTX Andrew have been very, very, very busy uh, making Spawn look a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. So you can see we have a lot more room for... Um, people are calling them plots now. Um, so... We've got all these little areas and it's like a little district on there paths going everywhere and it looks awesome and the great thing about this design it's easily expanded um, as well so we can have paths going off that way that way and people can build awesome things everywhere um, I have actually built a shop that is my shop down there I just thought I'd claim the land and build something there and um, I haven't actually got anything in it yet and I'm thinking oh my god um well I thought the ladder was there um. <laughs> oh god, I tried to be really cocky then. That didn't work. Karma. Oh my god, karma. Um. Yeah, so this is GT Towers. <laughs> this is Andrew's Tower. Um. I don't know what he's planning to sell, but it is gonna be big. Apparently, he wants to go to World Hike because I gave him a um. I gave him the idea to do that. Uh, so yeah, this is my building. Pretty pl hello. I'm pretty proud of this building because it's all um, my design. I didn't copy it from anyone. I kind of started off kind of doing it quite simply, and then I added another floor to it. And then upstairs worked really well because usually with roofs, with uh, buildings with low roofs, you don't have much um, space. But this is really cool. I've made it. I've managed to make it um, quite roomy in here actually. Um, I like the transition between the outside and the inside, especially with this thick doorway. It works really well. Um, yep, that's the schlong sign. I like I like the way this looks. I do I do kind of not like this though. This kind of gap between there. Anyway, I'm getting carried away. So I want to sell um, books in here. I want this to be a bookshop. I want to sell enchanted books and things um, for different prices. I'll have loads of chests around, cash registers, and upstairs. I'll have um, probably more chests and things. But you're probably looking at this floor and thinking. Where did you get this from? Well, we found a water temple on the server, which, if you missed last episode, if I'm hopefully uploading this in the right order, um, I basically Messenger found a um, temple about, where are we, uh, about, th I think it was 6,000 blocks out in a direction, um, uh, let's see which way, I think it is out in that direction, um, and we basically spent hours clearing it out and he, he surprised it all surprised us all we got on a big call and he said follow us and we followed him and then boom water temple and it's awesome um i'm trying to think what else there is that spawn um yeah i did this water thing because i think look th i thought it looked quite cool and also we now have three wither heads me and andrew uh, went on a little uh what near that weather bear with a hunting um expedition and we found a good place to put a beacon once we fight the wither It'll probably be here because that right there is the grafting table for spawn. Um, this is a nice area. All this is natural. We just added a few more waterfalls. Um, big natural open area, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so that's enough for an intro, I think. Um, now on with the actual project and objective of the video. Um, oh my god. Uh, okay, so there are two, cr three. Whoa, there were like four creepers. And there's a pig man over there, and a zombie. And the server's lagging. Oh my god. Ooh. Did I kill him? I think he killed himself. He killed his friend. Holy crap. Jeez, and there's a pig man over there. This is insane. This is what happens when you light up the majority of the area and there's nowhere um, lit around the spawn. Everything just spawns. Everywhere. Oh, we're just going to believe this. A bit of a uh, bit of terraforming. Look at that. It's, uh, it's artistic. It's nice. So it's been about two days in real life since I last recorded the clip you saw, and 
the real, the reason for that was just because I didn't know what to build. I kind of left it on a cliffhanger. I said, um, on to the next objective, and I filmed myself killing a couple of creepers or something. Um, I've come up with an idea. Um, here it is. I wanted to build, originally, a B&B. Now, if you're not from England and you don't know what a B&B is, it's a bread and breakfast, which is pretty much a place you stay when you go somewhere. It's like a house that you stay in and people serve you food and technically you have a bed and you get given breakfast. That's pretty much it because every single time I seem to be in a Skype call with the guys on the server, <laughs> people always come over to my base and kill each other and just have a laugh really. Um, so I thought I'd give them some, way, some place to stay um, because, which one is it this one here? Because whenever people die, it always takes them a while to get back to where they were originally, and then it's all it's hard, and people get, you know, the base gets kind of destroyed because people are dying everywhere, and there's water getting poured everywhere, and that's the reason for this chest. Someone's items, I've got no idea whose. Um, weirdly, the items slowly keep disappearing from this chest. So unless someone's gone over here and slowly um, taking stuff. Um, hmm. Anyway, but I was thinking, that hasn't actually happened in a long time. So what I wanted to do is actually build somewhere for me to sleep because my bed is, my bed was there. Do I even have a bed anymore? Has someone stolen my bed? Okay, someone stolen my bed. I'm not sure who. Uh, they've even moved it or something. But yeah, because I don't actually have anywhere to sleep or like any actual place, any room at all. And what I was thinking was to build a small house into the hillside. Um, so it's kind of like a the cliche Minecraft cottage. Um, but instead of just being out in the open, it will be built into the hillside. And then what that will also mean is I'll have loads of room to actually infinitely expand it into the hillside. I said hillside way too many times. But first, before we do that, I want to show you some things. I want to show you my new enchanted boots and all my weapons and things. You just probably just saw them. Uh, okay, so... Oh, God, which one? Fortune... Silk Touch can go back. Okay, so I've got a load more diamonds. Um... Those are Emerald Brocks. That is from a villager at spawn, which has got melon and pumpkin trade, which is perfect for me because of the farms up there. Uh, new boots, Step Strider 3, Unbreaking 3, Feather Falling 4, which are the best boots ever. Like, that was literally just a level 30 enchantment or level 3 even. Um, and this helmet as well, Acro Affinity 1. Enchanted those because that was when I was um, clearing out the uh, water temple. And um, what else? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm just going to use all the wood in here for the house. I also wanted to do another enchantment. Um, I wanted to get to level 30 and make a diamond chest plate and leggings. So I've got some books. I can do some things with it. Um, uh, I can go to spawn actually and get some more paper. Because the way I've been doing enchantments recently is um, literally if I don't get the right enchantment I want, I'll do a level 1 book, etc. etc. So I'm going to go over to the skelly farm now and get some levels. Okay, so I've been AFK at the spawner now for about half an hour and I think it's about time to make a chest plate and some leggings because that's definitely what I want to enchant put them back uh, Andrew's been busy I don't know what he, he's been doing he's just kind of trolling me at the moment so let's see she we need some books so I've got some chain armor as well which I think I might keep actually no screw it let's throw it away someone has actually been busy here look at this look all this storage under here look it's awesome look at all this Someone's organised it all as well, which is amazing. Because unfortunately I can't make these chests go any lower because that's where all the spawning mechanics are. So, not spawning mechanics, all the redstone currents and whatever. So, we need lapis. I'm really unprepared. Let's go get some lapis. There we go. Alright, so let's see what I can get on this chest plate. Why is it not 30? Why is it not saying level 30? Oh, because these damn... Because these are uh, torches, I believe. Oh god, why is that not saying level 30 now? Hmm, hang on, let's just uh, get rid of these blocks. Level 30? Who's saying 28? 28, fire protection. And breaking. Hmm, hang on, let's see, Andrew. Um, can I only get a max of level 28 in the table. Now we have just updated 1.8 so I don't know if that's an actual um, mechanic or not. Uh, so let's see, let's change it. So what have I got? Unbreaking. Uh, I didn't I didn't see that. Okay, GG. 
So, I'm breaking three. And fire protection two. I'm breaking is good, but what do I want? I really just want uh, projectile protection would be good. Protection would generally be good. So let's uh, let's try to do a level one book to reset these. Projectile protection, that's not too bad. Okay, so I think on the legs, I'll go projectile protection. Projectile protection. And I'm breaking, not too bad, not too bad. And what can I get on here now? It's, okay, I don't want that twice. I don't want projectile protection twice. Knock back one. Okay. I'm breaking. You know what? I might as well go on breaking because there's a chance that I'll get something else with it. So let's go. Oh my god. That was a waste. Okay, so I'm going to have to go through some books and stuff and uh, see what I've got back at, um, back at my base because I want to make this uh, chest plate better. Put some protection on it or something. Okay, so what do I need? What do I need here? I'm breaking, don't need protection. I'll have uh, power, power, protection two. Sweet. So let's just make a quick anvil, cheeky anvil. If I can remember how to make them. Hey, first time ever actually remembering how to do it. And I will put protection three on this. I don't know where to put this. I'll put it there. So protection one and protection. Oh god, that's not protect. Oh god's sake! Damn it! Do I not have any more protection? Is that it? Power one. I suppose. All right, I might as well just do some. Yeah, I might as well do some more level one uh, enchantments and see if I can get a load of protections. All right, so two protection one ones. Oh god, this is mouthful. Will equal a protection two. And then two protection twos will equal a protection three. Now, as far as I'm aware, you can't get higher than that. So let's take this off. Pop that on. Protection. That is not too bad. And let's actually see. Damn it, I can't actually put projectile. Projectile. Projectile protection on. So that means pretty much suited and booted up. Sweet. So let's get on with building the house. I really chose a bad time to start building outside. Oh my god, and also I just realised that I didn't actually fix the enchantment table. So, um, here we are. This is it. It's no longer going to be a future B&B. So this was already kind of here. I'm not, I don't know who did this. But uh, we want to make it an odd number. Um, and I've got all the materials, so this will be the centre here. So what I'm thinking is to go quite cliche with this build. And uh, do a wooden pillar. Like so. I think I'm going to keep it quite low to the ground as well. So, for example, I'll have the stairs going up like that to the centre and then down. Maybe a bit higher. Let's go a bit higher. There we go. Uh, door will be there. I'm just going to use this birch door as a temporary thing. Two, two, and it's here. Okay, so this is going to be the front of it. I won't show you building all of it. I think I'll probably cut until I've done the front. Awesome, that looks kind of quite cool. And I'll build, the, uh, I'll build the roof out a bit as well, I think. So, uh, yeah, I'll do a little cut until I've done a bit more progress. Okay, well, I'm sort of happy with it. But then again, I'm kind of not. Um, building small things like this is actually quite hard because you've got to kind of fit in a lot of detail in a, the, like a three-gap space and then two of those are filled up with blocks that really can't be decorated. So... It looks rather plain. Uh, I think adding that window up there works quite well because without that, it looked really boring. Uh, the inside, pretty nice. I like the roof, the way it curves up. I'm not quite sure about this, though. I don't like the transition between the dark and the light. But I've got some things now in my inventory to uh, do a bit of interior decorating. So I thought I'd do that just for a starter. Put a bed down because this is going to be my bedroom. Uh, I've got some paintings. So the only problem is... There are no three wide paintings. There's no odd number paintings apart from the one, you know, the one, uh, those ones. Ideally, it'd be nice to have a, a three wide one going that way. So I'm guessing I can just do, uh, is there a more interesting long ways one? Maybe not. Oh, God, where are they both? Oh, there. Okay. Uh, actually, before I do that, I'll do this. Put an item frame there. There to make this look a bit nicer. I think torches always look quite good there, and actually, yeah, they always look quite nice when you do that. And if I do a crafting table in here, 
If I do... Uh, what is it? It's stone brick. If you get some stone brick and... Oh, there's a name down there. Who's that? Craft file. What are you doing, man? Hello there. Hey, craft. I love this about this server. People just come and visit, like, just randomly. It's so nice. Either that or they've come to prank me. <laughs> Most probably blank pranking. Uh, okay, so let's get some stone. And do these. If I make it into a half slab, I'll show you. It looks really, really nice. You can do it with anvils as well, but to be quite honest, I don't have the re the resources to waste um, anvils on doing this. If you put, it kind of looks really medieval if you put uh, anvils in there. So like that. Oh, I've actually never seen these like properly in game before. That looks really nice. I like that. Put there like so. Whoa. Nope. That, oh, that, that's so nice. Uh, little touches like that really help. I think I'm going to do a one wide painting. Nope, that's not one wide. Oh, come on. Nope, come on. Nope. Okay, one wide, and then put the other one wide one there. They're both the same. Oh, there we go. That looks quite nice. Uh, what else was I going to do? I was also going to put a table there. I have to put a flower pot on. And also, that, that was it. I was going to put a light switch in. So what I was going to do is have a bit of redstone running up to a lamp. Uh, I suppose I could do two because it's an even number. I really hate building in the even numbers in Minecraft. Although I did just say about paintings. Paintings are the only good side of uh, building in even numbers. So this is going to be super, 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 super simple. Literally just a redstone torch going up into the air. Like so. A uh, resin torch will go on top of that. Then I've just got to pillar up with this. Actually, it'd be easier if I put in some lights first. Like that. That. I don't know why I said that so strangely. I suppose that kind of works. It, it, it's a shame that it doesn't stick down a bit because I like it when it does that. Uh, so we need to see how high I need to go. Uh, okay, just there. Okay, and what's that? It's a half slab, so I'm guessing I can... There you go. Oh, that's going to be really simple, actually. Uh, let's put a block on top of that. Then run some redstone from it. That is literally it. I don't really want to put... If I put a torch up there, it might mess up the lighting downstairs. So let's see. To be quite honest, that doesn't do anything, but that's just... It really doesn't like the room up at all, but that's just a nice feature, really. Uh, let's put a torch. Oh, there's already a torch up there. Uh, I suppose I can get rid of that torch. Yeah, I'll fill this in slightly. Just to make sure no mobs spawn. I don't think mobs can spawn on redstone anyway. I really don't know about that. I know they can't spawn on rails, but they get trapped by rails. They don't want to walk over it. There we go. Sweet. See if that still works on off oh this place is quite nice and when it's bedtime bedtime when it's uh night time i will sleep in the bed uh also if you're watching this and want to name this place and if you've actually got this far through the video <laughs> then give me a name in the uh comments and i will name the village i don't really know any name for it at the moment that's obviously why i'm asking you guys something cool um something kind of short and whippy would be whippy short and snappy be quite good I really like the way this looks though, it kind of merges into the mountain. It's really cool. And of course I'll have paths coming up. This is going to annoy someone, look. Look at that. Does that annoy you? So it, it look, it, I think it looks quite nice really, being slightly off-centred. slightly off Because um, then I can have a weird gravel path going to it. Also I've got slime blocks now, so I can have the slime block launch pad coming out of my base. Which is going to be awesome. So that is this episode over guys. Thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy it leave a like and a comment down below if not tell me why um and yeah leave a comment and i'll reply to you i love replying to words and i'll see you in the next episode subscribe so you can see it mm, subscribe and like bye <laughs>